Luke. Yeah. We are currently on the way. Yeah, I'm on the way. Two and a half minutes. So your yeah, house, your house is the one with the chode palm trees, right? Yeah. For this, for today's intro, I'm gonna let Fiona intro it, and she's gonna tell you what's going on. Oh, okay, Fiona's being freaking lame butt. Um, we are going to pick up Luke right now, and then we're gonna go to Sandy's because Fiona's dad's in town actually. So we're gonna go hang out with. Where are you going? Fiona's kind of in a crabby mood, as you can tell. I'm not. I'm not. Guys, today's a great day. Oh, another story I have to tell you about yesterday. Oh my gosh, it was like the most like went to this lookout place. There was a platform, and it was like a platform and then water around it. It was super crazy sick. Like, I got a photo of it, I think. And yeah, so I go and I'm about to fly my drone, and it's not letting me fly because it tells me I need to take a like an update, and it wouldn't fly without the update. So my friend was like, "Okay, well, while I'm taking pictures, you could just fly my drone." And I was like, "Okay." I was like, "All right." So just take his drone, put it on, like connect my phone and whatnot, and get ready to fly it, like. And I told him beforehand, yo, if my if I break your drone, you could have mine. Like jokingly said that because I've been flying drones for like four years now. So like I know what to do with them. So I take his drone out, I fly it. I, I have no control. It says all the connections were good. Everything was great. Off the platform. It goes off the platform. And then it just slowly descends into the water and I had no control over it. And I was like, frick, dude. So I gave my friend the drone because obviously I had like, I broke his, I don't know. It wasn't even my fault though. Like it literally was straight malfunction. Anyways, here's Luke. Hey, hey, you know what? I'm alive. I'm happy. Well, if you don't know Luke and Paula, you'll know him now. Oh no, you, you know you don't know what happened yesterday too. <laughs> After Zay dropped me off at home. Oh no, the soup was not being savored. I think I'm a little traumatized. <laughs> Sorry, right, we're going to Sandy's and uh, yeah, we're gonna oh, get oh, you on oh. the stuff. Look what I brought. Look what I brought. Oh snap! I brought it. Oh, fun uh, fact. Fun fact. If you guys know the company Connect, um, oh. like the GoPro triggers and like the poles and all that stuff. It's uh, his dad's company. This sticker. Just a fun fact. Fun fact for you. This sticker right here. Forget who you're talking to lately. No, no. You was my first. You belong to me, baby. Yeah. I'm playing for keeps, and this time I ain't playing. No. The punch bowls. <laughs> that's just. That's just. That's just silly. Reporting to you live from Sandy Beach Park. Today we see have uh, some cloudy conditions, a little bit overcast, but no rain going on yet. And uh, if you look down towards the beach, looks like there's a couple waves. So you know, good size fun. Wow! Wow! It's pretty hollow. The winds are good right now. All right. Well, I'll catch you on the flip side. I just want you. <laughs> You know, shredding the the gnar. Super man in. Super. He was super manning in the waves. And as we get out, we go take showers. You know, the usual. And then we see this bike. And I was like, you know what? We should call it and lowball the freak. I can't say it out loud. Wait, I'll just blur it. It's a wizard. Okay. All right, all right. We, we got have, we got the number. We, we might got have the number. Fiona's dad do this because I think. If anything, I'm probably gonna start laughing and it'd be really funny. We're gonna offer him $40 be, in a game of Call of Duty it'd be or way, something. It'd be way more serious if it was like a grown man calling too. And that would just make it so much funnier because they won't think it's gonna be a grown man prank calling. Yeah, 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 all right, all right. Watch this guy watch this video later on. Hello? Uh, how's it going? Uh, I saw your bike down at Sandy's and I was wondering, uh, like what your price was and if you were willing to negotiate. Excuse me? Uh, I saw the bike you put down at Sandy's Beach Park for sale. Yeah, it's for sale. Yeah, so I was wondering what your price was. And Four ounces, 700. Dude, like, I, I kinda like, I kinda like, just like, I, I kinda just bought another bike just like this, but like, um, I was like, I was probably gonna sell that one cause your one looks way cooler, but um, like I'm, I'm a little tight on money right now, so I was wondering if I could do like like 20 bucks and the new Call of Duty World War II. Excuse me? 
I was just wondering, like, if maybe I mean I could throw some other stuff in there. Like, I have um, I have like I have like this really old camera, but it doesn't like work anymore. And then um, my my uncle has like a pretty old dog too. I know. Wow, I that might that might work. Yeah. So like, there's like a like a really old dog. He's like 15 years old. And then um, and then the, like the new Call of Duty and like 20 bucks too. Maybe like um, maybe I could throw in like a bunch of bananas or something like that. You still there? Yeah, I need 700 cash. Do you like? Do you take bear bonds? Cause my no. uncle, my uncle has like. 700 cash. Go, my, my uncle's like investing in Bitcoin. Like, say like you give me like, I guarantee you give me like, like 1500. I'll I'll come back and I'll give you like 6000, dude. I promise. Well, that'll work, but I need I need it in my hand. Maybe I'll take you out to lunch or something too. Then like you know we can see where things go from there. I'm not gonna let anybody take it for twenty dollars. I, I understand. No, but like there's it's the new Call of Duty too, World War Two. It's really good. Have you played it? No, 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 no. Seven hundred dollars cash in my hand. Um, does that come with like extra gas too? I'm willing to budge. Maybe I could do like twenty five. That? I said I'm willing to budge. I said maybe I could do like twenty five. And then the Call of Duty too, so. It's a value of like 85 bucks with the Call of Duty and then the 25, and then the dog too, he's like priceless, so. You're here like way down the... No, the dog, a... the dog is priceless. You could probably sell the dog for like a million dollars. Yeah, the $300 on Craigslist. I'm selling it for 700, I'm already losing money. I, I think that like, dude, I'm offering you like the best deal you're probably gonna get. All my other money is wrapped up in a research facility for like, for getting like, like you know, dogs, like um, dog plastic surgery. And it's actually gonna be a really lucrative business once it starts going up. I, I've done really well with my money so far, but I told you, I mean, I've made, I've put most uh, of it in investments right, right now. now and offer me something bigger than that. Dude, I can offer you stocks in my, in my dog uh, plastic surgery business. It's gonna be huge. We're gonna like extend dogs, um, extend dogs genitals and make them like longer and more appealing. Dude, but you said you were losing money. Wait, wait. You said you were losing money. Wait, if you said you're losing money, why do you keep doing it? Uh, well, I just want people to enjoy them. Yeah. Well, you know, when when my dog prosthetic business starts going really well, you're just gonna see dogs <laughs> everywhere, and you're gonna wish you got in on it, man. Dogs with huge. Right there. Mm. Kiss and, kiss yeah, and ride. Nice. Drop on it's and crazy. drop off. The my kind of, my kind of place, man. I got bit by a dog. It's not funny because he really did get bit by a dog. <laughs> See, taking pictures cause that man hysteria. Mama see me on BT and starting tearing up. I'm going We didn't tell the dog biting story. I got bit by a dog. Guys. Dude, okay, listen, there was this stray dog. Okay, this is story time. Wait, are we gonna tell this guy whose dog it was? His name is Jonathan McMahon. Um, we went to Jonathan McMahon's house because someone else knew Jonathan McMahon. Basically, Jonathan McMahon has a, a pony-sized pit bull, and uh, I was just cruising, chilling, you know? Dog laid down, it was being pretty cool for the most part, and then I started petting it, and then all of a sudden, you know, out of nowhere, kush bow and the dog just rawr, looks at me. Show Looks it. at me, and then he just starts. He just starts growling, runs up, bites me right in the freaking chest, bro. And then I, I freaking kick this dog in the head. Look at this. This is real. Oh, yeah. is it real? No Photoshop. Oh, dude. So if we ever see this dog again, it's, it's like, gonna catch the one two Kahalu. Yeah, it's gonna catch the one two Kahalu. <laughs> uh oh, I pressed the button. Do you guys want to know a secret? Me <sighs> yes, in my heart or no? I drew a heart because I love you guys.
Die line, die line with the boom pal. Every week now I switch to a new style. 212s in the back just blew out. Everything I do end up in the news now. Yeah, be the club with a few now. There's some Hollywood girls and they do chow. I'm drunk, I'm drunk in the mood now. 2 a.m. What you wanna do now?